Robert F. Kennedy has chosen his VP candidate. Robert F. Kennedy is running for president. He's having a really hard time registering in all the different states, uh, registering uh, as an independent in all the states. A lot of states make it very, very difficult uh, to register. The Democratic Party, which is convinced uh, RFK will draw more votes from the Democrats than he will from Republicans, is worried about him swaying the election to Trump and is making it very, very difficult for him to register as an independent in all these other states. Uh, Robert F. Kennedy is still trying uh, to potentially be uh, the libertarian candidate uh, for president. It will be really funny if he succeeds in doing that. It will completely empty the concept of libertarian uh, from any meaning, particularly given his VP uh, choice. But uh, he is still trying because the advantage of being a libertarian is the libertarian party is already registered in all the states and therefore he, he will be on the ballot in every single state. Uh, I, I doubt it'll happen. But it's, I doubt it'll happen because he supports Israel and, and the libertarians flip out against anybody who supports Israel. That's the one litmus test. You can be a socialist and run uh, as a libertarian, but you can't be, be pro-Israel and run as a libertarian. That is the ultimate test for that wacky, crazy, insane political party. Uh, anyway, uh, Avke chose as his, um, uh, as his uh, running mate, uh, as his uh, vice presidential candidate, uh, Nicole Shanahan. Nicole Shanahan is a um, uh, patent lawyer. Uh, she grew up in a low-income household. Uh, she has been very, very successful. Uh, she, among other things, uh, married uh, one of the founders of Google. Uh, and when she got divorced, uh, I think she got a lot of money, a lot of money. So since then, she has been a a philanthropist, she has been a venture capitalist, she has uh, invested in a lot of companies, uh, but she's also uh, been willing to open up a checkbook for RFK's campaign. And as a consequence of that, uh, RFK, I think, has, has, has uh, made a VP candidate to a large extent because he wants to, he needs her money in order to try to register in, uh, in these states. Registering in the states costs a lot of money and RFK has no money. Uh, so he is uh, he has brought in a deep pocket to run uh, with him. I, I, I hard for me to say on how many issues she actually agrees with RFK. Hard to tell. Uh, supposedly she's pro vaccine, but she's also said some anti vaccine things as well. So it's hard to tell. But what we do know is that she is, uh, and here she it is consistent with RFK. She's a rabid environmentalist. Uh, she is a real progressive, a real leftist. Uh, and um, uh, consistent, I think, with RFK's true nature. Uh, he's on the far left in spite of his support for Israel and in spite of some issues in which he might not appear to be pro uh, uh, very far left. I don't think RFK might take a few votes from, the, from uh, Donald Trump, the, some of the conspiracy theory stuff, but I think he mainly appeals to the far left um, uh, in his, because of his environmentalist record and, and uh, his generally, his socialist views on, on so many things. He is far from being a libertarian on anything. He hates big pharma, he hates big tech, he hates big pretty much anything. Uh, just to give you a sense of his, um, his uh, VP pick, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, she, she um, uh, has mentioned when it was announced that she was going to be the VP pick, how, uh, Im uh, how important it was for her and how thankful she was that RFK uh, took her up on her niche political interests. Uh, those include uh, toxic chemicals in the soil. Uh, and she's produced two films around toxic chemicals in the soil. This is a quote from her. Uh, healthy soil is the foundation of healthy food. It is the foundation of a healthy ecosystem, and it is our answer to climate crisis. It is the foundation of a healthy economy. But what politician beside Bobby Kennedy do you ever hear talking about soil? None. So I'm glad they finally have discovered the real source of economic and cultural angst in the United States. It turns out it's not creeping statism. It turns out it's not uh, anything else except that. It's literally dirt. It's soil. It's the quality of soil. 
That is the real thing that is preventing this country from achieving its, its potential. Uh, that is what is destroying wealth in this country. And uh, RFK, in, in the, his campaign, will deal with the issue of uh, dirt and soil, and, uh, and we can all breathe, well, not breathe, maybe eat a sigh of relief, eat something of relief, so that, um, because the world will be fixed once we fix our soil. I'm, I'm so glad people are going directly to the fundamentals and the essentials of, of what needs to be dealt with if uh, we are going to uh, live in a better world. All right, RFK, uh, can't vote for him. I, I, I mean, there's just no way. I mean, it's enough that he's, a, he's the vaccine stuff, but then all his other environmental nonsense and his, he's just, he's just, a, he's just a nut job. Uh, so, no. No, can't vote for him, can't vote for Biden, can't vote for Trump. I don't know, Cornell West maybe? Go, go, with a, go with the explicit Marxist, just get it, get it, get it over with. Uh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I know, you know, the, the, the headlines are going to be striking.